Alrighty, who's uh, ready for the last boss battle? Okay, really, I would like to get the stupid second, second Baxter collectible, but I just can't remember where it is. And I have no idea where these two last Julia is, or that last killer thing either. Super annoying. Uh, I might have to use that stupid map. And those, and those. Yeah, we have some stuff left. But yeah, I'm not gonna go back trying to look for them. That, that was not, like, you know, the point here. Uh, I'm really happy with all the stuff we found. We found all the stories and stuff like that, so that's really cool. So, you know, I might cheat and, you know, just go find the last collectibles. Um, see where they were, just because... Actually, I could do that right now. I just realized we could totally look for the last collect- oh no, it's gonna take me so much time figuring out which ones I've got and which I haven't got. Okay, whatever. That's not the important thing about the game. We are going to the History Museum. Because we think that's Abigail, in the form of someone, somehow, has taken joy there. So here we are. deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted. Why are you stepping over it, dude? Oh, hello. Diamonds. We're at the museum. Yeah, if you fail, because this, this is a pretty, like, short part of, you know, what to do. But if you fail, they put you at the door again, and you have to, you know, start over, or whatever. Joy! Ronan, help! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there, let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! <gasps> we saw those Don't before in the museum. Stupid. Hands up! Stop what you're doing. Hands up! Do it now! Abigail, stop! I hate that part so much. Rexy piece of shit. What are you doing? Not now. This was you. Once you get in closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! I like how Abigail's like, I'm gonna kill witches! Tight, and it's like, kid. it's I'm not like you have superpowers yourself. Like, you're the most witch here. You can... Yeah, it's, it's timed here. You can, like, command demons. How are you less witch than they are? Influence... Powerful scream! Ten seconds left. God, you got like 10 seconds here. Ah! No, 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 no! There! Oh, God. Ooh, I thought it wouldn't let me do it. Herp. That's the part I failed at. So much. The time is upon us, Abigail Williams! No! You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sins! This can't be happening. 
You want to use memories against me? You can play at that game. I know the truth about your death, but I still don't know the truth about mine. Yeah, I can say the first time I played this, I didn't realize that you could grab her arm. So I was doing lots of other stuff and just failing those 10 seconds all the time. So yeah, I ran out of patience. Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. Rex was used to kill me. Abigail did use Rex to kill me, my own brother-in-law. Um, yeah, okay. Ignore my cursor, please, because I can't just... Yeah. How could Rex have done it? Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Baxter. But none of them have actually do has actually done it because they've been possessed, right? So, it's Abigail doing the murders, not them. Abigail used Baxter to kill Rose. Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. Especially the ones who get close to the truth. Abigail kills her killers. She eventually kills all her killers, especially when they get close to the truth. Get out of there, Cursor, please! I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? Look at her face. How could I? So when Sophia was pointing at him, she was pointing at him, not his badge, when he asked who killed you. You made me kill her. You so. <laughs> we all got a dark side, sometimes obvious. Sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. 
and committing a few small crimes searching for your mom? Well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronan? He's moving on. Ronan and Julie are together! And he's totally moving on! And that was the entire game! Except for some collectibles. So, yeah, we're gonna watch the credits! I'm gonna let the credits roll. It's like 10 minutes of credits. I'm not gonna talk the entire time. Like, you guys will have to watch the credits yourselves! So, yeah, thank you all f so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Murder Soul Suspect. Yes, the last boss battle is a little short. Mainly because I already know what to do. If you don't know what to do, that can be major annoying. I'm telling you. Major annoying, especially the part running up to Abigail, grabbing her arm. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would ever figure that out by myself. But yeah. So, and, and, and yeah, I think that when he was talking to Sophia, I, and she, he says something right about how did you die or, you know, who killed you, and she pointed him. I think she might have meant that he killed her, not that he's a police with a badge, you know. On the other hand, she might never have seen her killer, so I don't know. But it was it was uh, it was an interesting uh, clue or detail there. And yeah, I presume it's about Abigail. Her father made her accuse innocence, and then she just continued. Um, you know that happened because children were believed to be so innocent and pure and not lying. No one could use them. They could see witches in another way than, you know, the people. That's weird. Anyways, now I'm going to talk for these ten minutes, even though I said I wouldn't. Amazing. Uh, Alright, but yeah, thank you so all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Murdered Soul Suspect. And it was a lot of fun. It was actually a lot of fun playing it twice, even though I didn't get everything. We got all the ghost stories, at least. That was, like, the important part. That's awesome. And I'll see you later for lots of other cool games. So take care and bye-bye.